Hello everyone, in this video let us learn how we can uh, take a backup of your Jira cloud and also learn how we can import it on a different cloud instance. So basically we'll be doing an export and import of uh, Jira cloud. So we have been uh, using this uh, Jira instance for the past uh, one week and uh, I'm using this uh, Jira instance to basically create these videos and uh, so far I have uh, made a few videos but uh, there is a limitation of cloud when you want to do some evaluation because the evaluation will only work for one week which is not really enough time for doing proper evaluation. It will give you a glimpse of uh, what you can do with uh, Jira on cloud. and. Uh, on this instance of Jira, I have one project called Demo Project and I have also few issues that I created in this uh, project like uh, uh, some test issues. I can also create maybe uh, more projects if I need to. But at the same time, I also know that this particular Jira instance will uh, stop working because I didn't pay for it. So to continue this uh, evaluation of uh, Jira, core on the cloud and of course I want to make these videos and at the same time I don't really want to pay or buy a cloud instance because I can always uh, evaluate or set up a new Jira instance on cloud for one week but I since I'm making these videos since I'm making these videos I want some continuity and I want my data and my configurations to be uh, preserved when I set up a new instance. So what I can do, I can take a backup of this cloud instance and I can restore it on a new instance so that all my projects and uh, configurations will come back. So let us, learn how, let us learn how we can do it. And of course, uh, since we are doing this activity, it is also a good opportunity for you to see how export and import works because in, re in real world scenario as well, you can do this. Maybe you want to change the URL or uh, maybe you're doing some migration. So I think uh, it is a good start. Although we have been doing uh, work on, we have been doing this work on Jira core cloud. As any user, we are not really talking about the administration activities, but I think it's a good opportunity to uh, take a look at a few things that your Jira administrator would do. So let us learn how we can do an export. So for doing an export, you need to go to the, go to the Jira admin section. So there are of course few few ways to reach your uh, Jira administration section. So you can uh, click on let us say Jira settings and uh, then you can go to further options, further sections and you can uh, find out uh, the place where you have to take a backup. But for this video, let us do it very uh, very simply if you press uh, let us say the the dot or a full stop on your keyboard it will bring up this uh, pop-up menu and you can uh, search for things that you want to do uh, maybe you want to change the workflows or maybe you want to work on the issue types and of course we'll be learning these aspects but for the time being let us click on exp let us type in export so when you type in export, you will be presented with this option called backup manager, import and export, which is right now under administration. So if you click on it, you will be taken to this uh, interface where you can uh, see that you have uh, two options. Uh, you have first option that will let you take backup for cloud. And then you have second option that will let you take a backup for server. So if you're doing a migration from Jira cloud to Jira cloud, you want to click on the button on top. But if you're doing a migration from Jira cloud to server, then you need to click on the second button because there are some differences when it comes to cloud and server and you need to generate the right type of backup. So if you click on, let us say, create backup for cloud, uh, you can uh, see here that uh, there is an error because uh, there is a limit of how many times you can generate this uh, backup. But uh, uh, I actually clicked on this button uh, just 
few minutes ago before I started making this video and I have this link available for me. So if you click on this button, it will basically give you this link. And if you click on the link, you can uh, definitely download this uh, zip. It's called as uh, Vera export, vera-export.zip, which is nothing but uh, an XML file that you can uh, then import on a new instance of Jira. So if I go to, let us say, my new Jira instance, which is uh, Jira tutorial 2.atlassian.net, I can uh, complete the setup. So let us say if I want to first select my uh, language. So right now we don't really have uh, English United Kingdom, but uh, it is fine. We can manage with English US. So have you used Chira before? No, I, I, I don't want to say yes. So <clears throat> then you have uh, these options that you can use to basically import data from uh, a different tool or maybe you can create a new project or you can uh, create a sample project but uh, i just want to try it again and uh, let me uh, just uh, do the wizard again i think we need to do something here so let us create a sample project for the time being because we need to get rid of this uh, welcome wizard so this time i will uh, name my welcome not my welcome, but my test project as test. Earlier it was demo, but I, I'm just doing it for uh, making sure that I am able to work on Jira because I think uh, you need to create <clears throat> either a sample project or create at least one project to work on. So this is, uh, of course, a new Jira instance, but if I don't want to work on it, I want to basically restore my settings. So if I click on dot again, I can do, I can type in, in import or maybe export i'll be taken back to the same interface <clears throat> where you can uh, create a backup but this time we don't really want to create a backup we actually want to import it and there is a way to do it using uh, an option called restore system so you can uh, find this option here on the left hand side but uh, if you type if you press the dot again and if you do import you have the option to restore system import and, ex and export so let us click on it and uh, let us uh, uh, take a look at the wizard first. So this says that uh, this import process allows you to import data from uh, a Jira server instance or cloud site by uploading an export file. So you can also move to Jira cloud if you're working on Jira server. So you can do a migration from Jira server to Jira cloud and uh, this utility will uh, help you in doing the migration. Uh, you can also read the documentation to um, read further. It also says that using this feature will overwrite all existing data in your Jira Cloud site. So if you're using this import, it will basically wipe everything and it will restore the information or the data and configurations. So uh, before you begin, you may want to take a backup, prepare an, pre prepare an export of your other Jira Cloud site, which we have done, since we are working on Jira Cloud. Uh, choose what you want to do with imported user data. So uh, it says that overwrite and recreate all users. And then you also have one more option called merge user data from the export file with user data that already exists in your uh, cloud site. So let us not worry about this uh, option right now because we just want to override everything and recreate all the users. But uh, the second option will let you uh, also make sure that maybe you have some users with maybe uh, some existing usernames that are already there. It will probably merge them. But let us not worry about it. We'll just uh, click on begin import. And uh, we have to specify the Jira, the Jira export uh, uh, that we just took and then it will upload the import file for you and uh, it will uh, take a while it can take a while because uh, your export file can be huge or it can be small or not very small it depends on the size of your instance so right now the export that we that we took from the old cloud was not really massive so now the import is successful. Now you can also enable the outgoing email 
Uh, so yeah, why not? Let us enable it. It's a it's a test instance. So so I think it is now doing the actual import. So first it first it first it it was uploading the file. Then it is doing the actual uh, import for you. So it can take uh, a while. And uh, uh, so when I look at this particular screen, it re reminds me of a uh, lot of not so great memories because. Uh, uh, usually, when you're doing some migration, you have to face this screen and uh, if something is wrong with the migration or restore, this can fail or this screen will not even refresh and you will probably see an error. But on cloud, you won't really see, it is, it is unlikely that you will see an error, especially if you're doing a cloud to cloud migration and uh, if you're taking care of uh, all the required add-ons and uh, if you have done it before, then you will probably take uh, care in making sure that your uh, backup or your export is uh, clean and it can be ready for import. But usually when you're doing this migration in a real world scenario, just make sure that you do it on a test instance first. And of course, uh, make a note of all the issues that you face. At the same time, uh, understand uh, the impact that it will have if you're moving from server to cloud because if you're moving from server to cloud your users might not like the interface or they will find things working differently because the way cloud works especially the ui and uh, the the user experience is different it is quite different so just make sure that you know what you're doing you notify your users you do some uat you do some testing and, and of, of course i'm talking about uh, migration activities but right now i'm doing this because uh, i just want to save money i don't really want to pay for my evaluation of jira cloud and of course uh, you can't really do this in real world scenario where you have a jira instance up and running and you change the url every other week so you can't do, do it uh, in reality but even if you're doing so, but if you're doing testing like me or if you're doing some evaluation or making a video then uh, it is fine. Go ahead and uh, keep on renewing your, uh, keep on restoring your cloud um, and it, it's fine. So I think uh, the import is uh, complete. Let us go back to the, to the home page and uh, now the test project is no longer there. We have this demo project. It looks exactly like uh, what we had earlier if i go back to my original old jira cloud jira core cloud we have this uh, demo project in uh, old instance and this new instance and the new instance is like a replica of your old cloud instance and uh, this is how you would do migration in real life and uh, i was doing it today because i wanted to do it and i thought i'll probably share how to do it and of course uh, we are uh, doing something different uh, i'm i'm creating these videos on jira cloud uh, mainly because i also want to refresh my memory of cloud and there are some new features on the cloud that i want to learn and i want to also see how it works on the cloud but at the same time i also want to share whatever i'm learning and uh, uh, i'm doing these series on jira cloud uh, um, and I want to also help anyone who is interested in uh, doing a comparison of Jira Cloud versus Jira Server. There are some use cases where Jira Cloud actually works better. And uh, for a small company, for a medium-sized company who is just interested in uh, using Jira, and if if that company is okay with the limitations of the cloud, it is not bad, by the way, it is great. But as compared to Jira Server, it has some limitations when it comes to some customizations, when it comes to add-ons that you can install on cloud. On cloud, all the add-ons work more or less using the REST API, but on server, you have the you have access to the Jira Java API. So that really opens up a lot of possibilities. But Jira Cloud works really well for many use cases. And uh, I think uh, this uh, series of videos will probably help you if you're also trying to evaluate Jira Cloud. 
so i hope this uh, video was uh, useful do let me know if you have any feedback and uh, have a nice day have a nice evening thank you